Welcome back, Western Welding Academy. I'm Tyler Sassy. This is our 45 degree offset, simple 45 degree offset calculation video. We're gonna show you how to do that and uh, we're pretty excited about it. With that, let's get started. Let's say we've got a pipe rack that stops here and a pipe rack that starts here. And we've got some four inch pipe that needs to run up This is a very simple 45 degree offset. This is an elevation change. So it's a change in elevation, all right? The first thing that we gotta look at is we gotta look at where the center lines are. Remember, we always measure our pipe from the center line. It makes it easy and simple when we're doing our math and when we're doing our layout. So we've got center lines right here. So in this application, the where you would find these dimensions is with a laser or a tripod, okay? The thing with 45 degree offsets is all they are is a simple triangle. So let's say we're on the job site and we're going to shoot this elevation in. We've got our center line pegged here and our center line pegged here. We know that the pipe, the center of pipe, center of pipe has to rise a certain dimension. Okay. That's the first leg of doing this problem is figuring out what the elevation or the horizontal, if it's a horizontal offset, there's no elevation change, we still need to figure out what center line changes need to be made first, okay? So let's say we took our laser and we shot it, we shot the elevation in, we swung over, we shot the elevation in, and it's nine and three eighths inches. That's important because uh, I've got a problem on the on the fab table there that we're gonna go over here in a minute. But I wanna show you this triangle, first and foremost. So we have one leg of our triangle. That's this leg right here, okay? The other leg of the triangle is this one. Okay, now you notice this side of that triangle stays in the center line of the pipe. Okay, so this side of the triangle is nine, and three eighths inches. On a 45 degree offset, one leg is always equal to the other leg. That's important. If, if you just know one leg, this leg or this leg, they're gonna be the same. On a 45, this is on a 45 degree offset only, but it's the most common, so you need to know it. So from this dimension from here to here is nine and three eighths inches. From here to here, is also nine and three eighths inches. That's important to know. All you need to do is find out one leg of the triangle. If you find out one leg of the triangle, the other one's gonna be the same if you're using 45 degree fittings. This is very critical. A welder that can weld and fit, he's more than just a one trick pony. He's a, he's a guy or a woman that can be used in all different places. The thing to remember, if you can weld and you can fit, you can go to work. There's a lot of guys that can just weld and there's a lot of guys that can just fit. You can do them both. You're a tool that can be used. Any contractor out there can use you. Basically, have a triangle like that. It's nine and three eighths here, and nine and three eighths here, okay? One of the really critical numbers that you need to always remember, put it in your head, write down in your hard hat, your welding hood, wherever it is, you need to remember this number because it's gonna pertain to piping layout anytime you're doing a 45 degree offset. That number is 1.414, okay? It's a stupid little number, it's not quite one and a half. Um, it's 1.414. It's not 1.4, it's not 1.41, it's 1.414. You always need to know this number. Write it down on your hard hat, write it down inside your weld node, wherever you need to do it. Store it in your head, write it down in your blue book. Remember that number, 1.414. That's for 
45 degree offsets. If we find one leg of this triangle, it doesn't matter which leg, we find one leg or the other, we take that dimension and we times it by 1.414. This video is brought to you by Construction Master 5, all right? This here is a pipe fitter's friend, welder's friend. It'll do fractions and it will save your bacon. When I'm doing calculations like this, I always like to use a calculator. The thing to keep in mind is on this triangle, that's, that's gonna give you this dimension. You take your one leg, you times it by 1.414. This is this dimension. It's what's called the travel of the triangle. So from here to here, this dimension is 13 and a quarter. Okay, well, when you're talking now we're gonna to go to our piping problem. That's gonna get us from this center line of this fitting to the center line of this fitting. Going back to the triangle, you have one leg, you times it by 1.414, that's gonna get your center to center measurement. That's a center to center measurement. We have to subtract for the fittings. And that's why in the last episode, we talked about doing the takeoff for a 45 standard radius butt weld fitting. That's where this comes into play. So we have our 13 and a quarter. That's not our pup length. That's our center to center, okay? Just like always, when you're doing your piping math, label every move. Now over here, we're gonna solve for the pup. So we have a 13 and a quarter inches. That's our center to center measurement from the center of this fitting to the center of this fitting. We have to take off for these 45s. Well, this just so happens to be four inch pipe. Imagine that. It's four inch pipe. What's the takeoff for a four inch 45? Well, we don't know. We gotta figure that out. We showed you in the last episode how to find and solve the takeoff for a four inch 45. We take four inches, which is our pipe size. We half it, we half it, and we half it again. Okay. This is our 45 takeoff. One thing that's really critical is, is this two and a half inches that's the takeoff for 145. We got to take off for here and we got to take off for here to find this pup length. Okay, 13 and a, and a quarter minus five inches is eight and a quarter, All right? And that's our pup length for this. And we're gonna circle it because it draws your attention there. Make sure that the guy cutting that pipe cuts it right. Now, when you're squaring a 45 and you're tacking it, you can use a tri-square or a speed square. We would put this flat on the face of the 45. We'd put this flat on this two foot framing square. We'd put that up there and we would measure from here and here. That, that's how you would fit a 45 on and get it on square, okay? So a couple of tools, a couple of tools that you're gonna need for squaring up a 45 is a two foot framing square and some kind of 45 square. A speed square works, a tri square works really well. You gotta get the 45 on at a true 45 degree angle. It's gotta be square at a true 45 degree angle to the pipe in order for the offset to flow and these dimensions line up when you go to install that pipe. Okay, we take our nine and three eighths, we subtract our two 45s, we're gonna get a pup of eight and a quarter. As a, as a welder, you would make both of these welds and you'd make these welds and this would fit. 
okay? So, one key thing to remember when you're welding that 45 on, it's just like welding on a 90. You gotta weld it on square, so the offset is true. If you weld all your fabrication, plumb level and square, it'll always fit. Key thing to remember.